Hi there friends, welcome back to Miss Corn's Corner. It is another week of one of our favorite characters. This week is all about Franklin, Franklin the Turtle. So we're gonna start off by one of my favorite Franklin books, Franklin in the Dark. Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count forwards and backwards. He could even zip zippers and butt buttons. But Franklin was afraid of small dark places. And that was a problem because Franklin was a turtle. He was afraid of crawling into his small dark shell. And so Franklin the turtle dragged his shell behind him. Every night, Franklin's mother would take a flashlight and shine it into his shell. See, she would say, there's nothing to be afraid of. She always said that. She wasn't afraid of anything. But Franklin was sure that creepy things, slippery things, and monsters lived inside his small, dark shell. So Franklin went looking for help. He walked until he met a duck. Excuse me, duck, I'm afraid of, my, of small dark places and I can't seem to crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, quacked the duck. You see, I'm afraid of very deep water. Sometimes when nobody is watching, I wear my water wings. Would my water wings help you? No, said Franklin, I'm not afraid of water. So Franklin walked and walked until he met a lion. Excuse me, lion, I'm afraid of small, dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, roared the lion. You see, I'm afraid of great, loud noises. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I wear earmuffs. Would my earmuffs help you? No, said Franklin, I'm not afraid of great, loud noises. So Franklin walked and walked and walked until he met a bird. Excuse me, bird, I'm afraid of small dark places. I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, chirped the bird. I'm afraid of flying high that I get dizzy and I fall to the ground. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I pull my parachute. Would my parachute help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of flying high and getting dizzy. So Franklin walked and walked and walked and walked until he met a polar bear. Excuse me, polar bear. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, growled the bear. You see, I'm afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Sometimes, when nobody is looking, I wear my snowsuit to bed. Would my snowsuit help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Franklin was tired and hungry. He walked and walked until he met his mother. Oh, Franklin, I was so afraid you were lost. You were afraid. Afraid? I didn't know mothers were ever afraid, said Franklin. Well, did you find some help? She asked. No, I met a duck who was afraid of deep water. Hmm, she said. Then I met a lion who was afraid of great loud noises. Mm-hmm, she said. And then I met a bird who was afraid of falling and a polar bear who was afraid of freezing. Oh, she said, they were all afraid of something. Hmm, said Franklin. It was getting late. Franklin was very tired and very hungry. They walked and walked until they were home.
Franklin's mother gave him a cold supper and a warm hug and then sent him off to bed. Good night, dear, she said. Well, Franklin knew what he had to do. He crawled right inside his small dark shell. He was sure he saw creepy things, slippery things, and a monster. But he said a brave good night. And then when nobody was looking, Franklin the turtle turned on his nightlight. The end. Thank you so much for joining. What are you afraid of and how do you fix it? Bye for now.